This Notre Dame program and Syracuse program both in excellent shape moving forward. And we are about to begin ACC play between these two teams here in Syracuse. Both teams with just one loss this season, and it's Syracuse with the opening tip. And a jumper right away. That's a two just inside the three-point line by Elena Rice. And this is what we're going to see. We're going to see Syracuse really look to push Dumbo. It's going to be an up-and-down game, and how about it? A great start from Rice. Yeah. If you are cutting highlights for this game, you're going to be busy. I can promise you that. It's Westfeld <laughs> misses the opening shot for Notre Dame. And then Notre Dame's only loss is to South Carolina in the season opener. This is the starting five right now for Syracuse. Fair and Woolley both came over from Buffalo with Coach Jack. And there's Hidalgo with the steal. She leads the nation in that category, Asia. It just seems like it comes easy for her. Yeah, six steals a game, Sam. Fair in the starting lineup tonight. She didn't start in the last game, came off the bench. That's number two in white. And a second chance blocked. How about a third chance for Latham? She gives it to Woolley. And Woolley, another steal for Hidalgo. Two steals already. And that pass broken up. Fair will race down the other end. Up to Woolley. And Syracuse up 5 nothing. So right now, Hidalgo's on pass to have 80 steals in this game. So she's had two in the first two minutes. I think that's right. North Carolina Public Education Mass. Olivia Miles still out. Sonia Citrone out. Rish is out as well, along with Prosper. But they are number five in the net. Three on the way. Love the aggressiveness of Syracuse as well. They, they have come right at Notre Dame here in the first quarter. Got the inbounds play. First button for another key player that coach is going to need to step up. Hidalgo with her third steal, and it leads to a layup. It's just uncanny how she comes up with all these steals. And now Hidalgo going for another one, trying to tie it. Yeah, that's uh, such a good matchup, her against Fair. They're, again, they're two of the top scorers in the country. Fair can go beyond that. She's the 20th all-time scorer in NCAA history. Jumper off the This is obviously Hidalgo's first time playing here in the JMA Wireless Dome. It takes a little bit to get used to if you're a shooter. A nice offensive rebound by Wood in the stick down. Tremendous rebounder has really picked up the slack, especially in the absence of Verzal. How about the fact of, of playing in the dome here, Asia? Does it make a big difference when you haven't played here before? Nice move inside. It's kind of like you're in a big warehouse, but then like there's these like you know, area of like bleachers and chairs like right there around you, but there's so much space around the dome. But you know, you just gotta lock in, enjoy the experience, and you know, focus on court. She was affectionately referred to. Brought three pillars to this program based on character, academics, and basketball. Nice look inside the West Belt, misses the layup, gets it on her second attempt. So to know how much that she can improve over the course of her career. Nice look inside. Good D by Westbell. Just strip that right away from Latham. Hidalgo loses it. Nice look up to Fair for the layup. Good play. One on the floor. The campers will see that play this summer. That was perfect. DeWolf. <laughs> The Wolf coming off an incredible game against Western Michigan. She made five threes. Now she gets the steal. To Wolf with fair to beat. Double dribbled. The latest top 60 of the net. Ah, oh, what a move inside. Westfield comes out with it. To Wolf, one handed pass to Hidalgo. Boom. You, know, you talk about Hannah's game. You know, that's where she's so special because we see what she can do at the point guard spot. But when she's playing off the ball, Sam, she is a excellent scorer. And if you're hearing Asia laugh about Hidalgo, it's because Asia's not that called for the foul. That was Rice. But go ahead, Asia. I, I didn't want to interrupt you. you. You've known Hannah since she was a, a little girl, haven't you? Yeah, we went to the same. We went to a uh, pre-K through 12th grade school at Life Center. So just to clarify, because Hannah Hidalgo did go to Paul the Sixth, but we did go to 
school together at one point when I was in high school. She was one of our assistant coaches. You could see her there on the far right side. And, you know, her family, they're just really great people. They're very into their faith. They're very family-oriented. And, you know, they've always been there for me. I was boarding. They had me over their house for holiday, you know. Run around, have fun as a freshman. Don't worry about too much. Let the game come to you. Marshall pushes it inside. The Watson gets her miss, misses again. And nice tenacity by Syracuse to get the ball back. Perkins, baseline. Nice look. Rifled that. Nice pass. Right, but then also Wilson. I, you know what I really like about that? She got herself together, gathered, and was able to get up, and that's why she got the make. Wilson on the ACC All Academic team, great student. Another turnover forced by the Orange. Woolley against DeWolf. Got it. No whistle. Woolley has gone green, over. Got it. I'll take it. <laughs> Woolley's gone over a thousand points for her career. She was honored before the game. There's a doggo with the runner. Can't get any stories in, Asia. They're running up and down the floor <laughs> so fast tonight. N another thing to point out in this first quarter, you don't see this a lot. All 10 starters scored at some point, and now we've uh, begun to bring in some players off the bench. So that's a good sign for both teams to get the balance. Absolutely. Both teams at their best offensively when they have that balance to pack. Rodalgo with the easy layup. And Hidalgo, three steals in this opening quarter, now with seven points. As we are about to finish the first ten minutes, post up by Wilson and a foul on Watson. Wilson's going to go to the free throw line. A stroke by Wilson, who grew up wanting to play at Syracuse. Final ten seconds of the quarter. Syracuse started out with a big lead. Notre Dame's been catching up ever since. And Marshall ties it. So we are tied 19 all at the conclusion of the first quarter. No surprise, Hannah Hidalgo had an outstanding quarter. Both these teams, it's their first game since coming back from the holiday break. And we're tied at 19. Watson looking inside. Good look to Westbelt. So that waves off the basket. The foul was on Westbelt. Three. Now that is a home court bounce. <laughs> Latham. The ball just died and then popped in the net. Watson misses. And not surprising, comes out yelling at her teammates. She's a, a natural born leader, telling everybody where to go. And 15 in honor of one of her high school coaches who passed away from cancer, Claire Drosh. Marshall's from Queens, New York. My family and friends here. Wooly. Honored before the game for her 1,000th point. Her parents. Yeah, how so nice of you to spend the holidays with your family. Played for Coach Jack there. And now, you know, Willie, she's such a versatile player. You forget how tall she is. And the doggo gets around her. Perkins. Nice. Willie trying to run down the offensive rebound, but you know Hidalgo is going to grab it. Hidalgo will push. Two on one. She keeps it. Doggo dives for that ball. Marshall against Fair. Already with four steals. Marshall's on the free throw line. 10 of 17 this year from the free throw line. Best season of her career at Notre Dame. She's been at Notre Dame all four years. It's the ACC opener for both teams and part of our quadruple header today in women's basketball. Perkins, and she's quick. Good pass. And fair. And so shifty and so creative, Perkins, creating for others. Brantford 
trying to shake fair loose. Goes in with the left hand, misses. Rebound by Wood. Another thing that I've noticed just from watching Notre Dame over the course of that time is I think... Well, De'Asia Fair had no trouble making that three, and she pushes the Syracuse lead to six. DeWolf. DeWolf, like another coach on the floor, Coach Ivy was telling. She calls her Coach DeWolf, in fact. Good take by Rice. Oh, that's nice. Syracuse answering, and DeWolf. This one we talked about, if you love offense, you'll love this game. Not fair, oh, it was just off the mark. Wood came flying in and eventually fair. And a doggo with a rebound. And Marshall offense, two fouls now. comes over to get fair. Not had even close to a shot clock violation in this game. They've been scoring or shooting so quickly on the offense. It's been the first time I can remember the shot clock getting down to five. At three. Wilson. Swatted with the volleyball slot. She's like, please, come on, I want that block. <laughs> A lot of turnovers in this game, though, but these teams trying to figure the other out. Watson posting up, and a jump. Get just your hand on that ball like that, and the strength to hold it on. Offensive rebound, and a foul. On, on both ends of the floor, she's just a workhorse. She's humble, but she works hard. And Caitlin Clark also had one, so Caitlin got a, a few more of the headlines. We've already seen her tonight get four steals, 11 points, and she's on the way to the basket block. <laughs> the inbounds play, shot missed by Latham. Here comes Hidalgo looking up the floor. Ransford. Duke will be in South Bend to take on Notre Dame at 6 Eastern. Again, those are men's games next Saturday. In the midst of a women's quadruple header today as Latham gets the short jumper. That was a great find of Latham on the cut right under the basket to the paint. Bransford open for three off the mark. Bransford has only made two threes this season, but it was open. The doggo almost had another steal, but they do force a turnover. And then stolen right back by Fair. Fair inside the lane, short. To Wolf, all by herself. Assist to Dalgo. She's been so fast. The first half court set we've seen in a few possessions. Some of the fans might leave with strained necks, having their head on the slip. <laughs> it's like a tennis match. <laughs> Keeps going back and forth this game. It's so fun to watch. The Dalgo streaking through. Gets rid of it to Bransford, and Bransford has no problem stepping up and telling people where they need to be. Yes, she's running the team, but at the same time, you're telling the vets what to do. Hey, the the doggo pass to set up those free throws. Fair. Off the mark on the jumper. Runs in, gets her miss. I think she knew the shot was off, so she ran right after the rebound, but you got to love the effort. Textbook, follow your shot. West Bell getting the pass from it. So the doggo now with... Four assists, five steals, 11 points. That is the season average for Notre Dame, actually. DeWolf, West Bell, she's got range and knocks it down. Three pointer by West Bell. She's comfortable and she's mentally in a great place coming into this season. That was her ninth three of the season. Adalgo harassing Fair, going for the steal. Fair, that was, you just got to love the intensity of that play. Wow. Two of the best in the nation going head to head, literally. Watch this. Yeah, we got the OG and we got the baby here going at it. And listen, no let ups at all. And I love it. I love the intensity that both. <laughs> Adalgo and Fair are playing with. I mean, this is just so exciting.
And then Coach Ivy saying the, the post seems to have a, a new attitude this year. Fair picks Hidalgo's pocket and gets the layup. You know, Fair's like, if you, you, you're going to pick me, guess what? I'm going to pick you right back. <laughs> oh, this is great. DeWolf. And a travel as uh, Bransford took an extra step trying to get to the basket quickly. Absolutely. I think they're just even more excited just to watch these two go at it. Fair gets by Adalgo again. Fair! Sending a message. Scoring on Adalgo in the final two possessions of the half. You know that play specifically and just even some of those empty possessions that she's had she said listen i'm gonna step it up and i'm about to knock down some shots y'all gonna see what fair can do so again both these teams with just one loss this season it's the acc opener for both notre dame lost their opener in france to south carolina but uh, held south carolina to uh, much below their season average score and uh, the first syracuse builds the lead to six yeah, that was just a pretty fadeaway jump. There's so much potential, you know, in her game. She's got a little skill set there. Lots to polish off, but, I mean, again, just a freshman. Pass from Westbelt into Watson for the layup. Both teams scoring on their opening possession. Woolley keeps that streak. Syracuse two for two to open the half. Syracuse just continues to sister. get... You know, Syracuse just continues to get easy looks driving her second season at Notre Dame enjoying the, the highest scoring average she was on our team USA three on three team the players really good away from the ball DeWolf with the steal and the layup trying to turn the momentum around to Notre Dame's favor and I love that we talk about Hidalgo but Wolf too she's another one that gets her hands in there and she just completely anticipated that pass and got after it you know, Wolf in her 121st start tonight over her career. Nice. Racking up that they've racked up in the first uh, half. And now we're in the third quarter. That's something to keep an eye on because they don't have the depth. They can't afford that. Marshall, who was inserted into the lineup for Westbelt, makes the most of the opportunity, gets the layup. The doggo diving to the floor for another steal. DeWolf forced the pass. So getting closer and closer to a triple double. Bransford picks it up. Here's DeWolf. Wolf misses the layup. Adago and one. They were they were both jumping up with their fists in the air. Super Coach fired Young. up. Like a Kim Mulkey. All those coaches that really get fired up and it just, yeah. you know, it exuberates throughout the entire team, gives you that energy. Uh, her dad, Orlando, high school coach. Mom also coaches as well. Fair trying to break the Notre Dame momentum. Notre Dame scored 11, excuse me, nine of the last 11 points, maybe adding to it here. The Wolf off the mark. Notre Dame's overcome the deficit, now has a one point lead with a chance to build. Transfer through a double team, misses. Fair. Done it all by herself. Missed. Offensive rebound. Thrown back out to Perkins. Three on the way, and it's good. Both the head coaches of these teams among the all time greats at their schools. Westbelt for three. Was saying that her brothers never took it easy on him. They, they went all out against her. That's one of the reasons Coach Ivy thinks she's so tough, plays with that edge. Nice opening possession out of the timeout for Syracuse as Latham gets the layup to retake the lead for Syracuse. Hidalgo quickly answers. 16 points for Hidalgo. Lightning fast response. It has been a battle between these two in this ACC opener. Jumper off the mark, offensive rebound taken inside and stuck every day from Mark Charlotte studio in his basement all the weekdays at 4 Eastern. They'll continue talking football, basketball, plus half the latest from around the conference right here on ACC Network and the ESPN app. Fair 
against DeWolf. DeWolf. Hidalgo open for three. Off the mark, rebound Syracuse. The Orange with a three point lead now, looking to increase it. Westbell grabs the miss. Shot had been taken by Rice. Here comes Hidalgo. DeWolf buries the three. DeWolf made five threes against Western Michigan. That was her first today. Tied at 57. Good look inside. Wide open. Struggling with the entire game defensively is that secondary line defense that helped the helper. You have to be on the backside for that drop pass. It don't. <laughs> yeah, but I think the rest is good, you know, because Syracuse, they have the depth and, you know, they want to push it and run it that Run it up the court to Notre Dame. Perkins muscled it up and in, and Syracuse leading by a bucket. We get ready to approach the final minute of the third quarter. Back and forth game. Watson looking low to Westbell. Westbell! And I love that look. It's been there for Westbell the entire game, and Watson having the size that she has, able to not only see it, but throw it over as well. Westbell with 12 points. The extension of the arm, that's where they got him on the offensive foul for Latham. Wolf took that charge. The Wolf trying to get away from Fair. Gives it up to Watson. And the Wolf was open underneath. Woolley. Fair with seven to play in the quarter. Tried to rifle it inside. Fast pace. So I think you just got to stay poised. And make the right reads. Make the right. Taking her out of the game. Westbelt made the first free throw. Knocks down the second with 14 points now. Obinma back in the game for the Irish. And the heave off the back of the rim. And it was funny the story coach told us about how she got here on the team. She got a phone call from the coach saying, hey, I got a kid for you. She <laughs> she embodies the culture that you have, that she's a workhorse. She's highly skilled. They said the one downside was that she's a bit dainty and she isn't strong yet. And coach, coach Jack said, hey, I can work with her. And I mean, you yeah. see Willie, look how far she's come in her career. And Willie's a, a six-footer. Turn it. Made this very difficult for the Irish, who are 13th in the rankings this week. And another steal. Fair comes out of there with it. Up the floor to Woolley. Woolley faked the jumper. Fair could not get around Bransford. Woolley. Doesn't get the roll. Offensive rebound. Allowing that drive, not just the penetration, but that drop pass as well. Steal by Fair. Doggo turned it over. Fair with the lob into Wood. And Wood, players whose minutes may have been limited with those others in the lineup, have gotten considerable minutes and gotten used to being dependent on. Fair, one on one with Hidalgo, gives it up. Woolley gets the roll. Let's go. Double team and Wood loses it. Watson goes to the floor to get it, finds Hidalgo. A great defensive possession. Hidalgo with the layup. 20 points for Hidalgo. A yeah, great defense often to notice the defense kept switching up. They switched up from man now back in that zone. And the zone is really. Back at the free throw line. Bench averaging seven a game this year. So Notre Dame can retake the lead on this possession. Hidalgo splits the defense, rifles in the pass. Perkins goes around the screen. Uh, 
Kelly and Watson a little fired up down there. ACC opener that I'm sure they'll talk about Thursday night between Notre Dame and Syracuse. The Orange right now up one. Notre Dame with the ball. Both teams with three players in double figures scoring. There's the leading scores. Shot like under 10. That's a rarity in this game. And forced pass by Marshall Hidalgo, though. Bails Notre Dame out. And a turnover. Syracuse comes up with it. Woolley knocked away by DeWolf. What a defensive play by DeWolf. No foul. And Hidalgo slow to get up. Right in Marshall's face. Got stuck. That pass got away from Bransford. And here comes Fair. Fair. No problem. Honestly, this is what we've been seeing all game. This back and forth tempo. It's like you can't let your foot off the gas. You make one play on the other end, but then a play is made on the on the opposite end. And it's been a great game. Notre Dame was up 65-61 to end the quarter. And here in the fourth quarter, Syracuse. Notre Dame in the preseason poll this year picked to finish second. Syracuse was picked to finish ninth. Not the pass, no good. Perkins with the offensive rebound, missed. And then another follow is made by Rice. I like the zone look from Notre Dame, but when you're in the zone, you know, you're more at a disadvantage rebounding wise. So you really got to lock in and focus on that. But Rice, a guard with one. She's a rebounding guard for Syracuse. You got to know where she is. A four point lead for the Orange. Short is Branford's shot. And it'll go back to Syracuse. Shot clock at 10. Woolley launches the three. Westbelt with four fouls grabs the rebound. Hidalgo through the lane, yes! And Fair answers with the three. The two from Hidalgo and the three from Fair. Notre Dame trailing by five. Iris have only lost one game all season. That was the South Carolina. Wood with the rebound. Woolley brings it back out. Fair, another three. Got it! DeAsia Fair is taking this game over. The premier score. And Hidalgo answers on the other end and one. A premier score in the league, and we know she can knock it down, and I love it. Off of the bounce, shoots it, bam, got it. The dog go on the free throw line. 24 points today, make it 25, up five, and now a minute to play. Perkins to Woolley. In and out, rebound Watson, and Watson throws it away to Fair. Fair. Offensive rebound and one. Foul on Watson. For Syracuse, and we have another look at it. The shot goes up. I mean, how about, first of all, the block out from Wood underneath, but then I love it here. <laughs> Perkins on the line. Sophomore from Illinois. Misses the free throw. Hidalgo will push it for the Irish. Hidalgo, all by herself. Cuts the lead to five, 32.3 seconds left. And Fair fouled right away by Hidalgo. Trying to make it a two possession game.
up seven with just over 30 seconds to play. Dalgo quickly into the lane, misses. Wood with a rebound. Notre Dame has to foul. Bransford will foul fair. Only the 13th free throw, though. And a 9 of 13 from the free throw line. Nine-point lead, biggest of the day for the Orange. Notre Dame has to score quick. Hidalgo into the lane, puts it in. 16 seconds left. Fair with the ball. They've got a fouler, no choice. It stops the clock with 11.8. But Fair's been automatic from the free throw line. Missed it. Eight-point lead for Syracuse, under 10 seconds to play. And the Orange are going to get the upset to open ACC play. Hidalgo buries the three. That makes it a five-point game, but that's not going to do anything except make the deficit smaller. What a start to the ACC season for the Syracuse Orange.